Hi, this is Miko, BMW of San Francisco. I'm going to take today the new BMW 320i with the manual transmission for a test drive. I did one video with an automatic. Um, it was what we thought it's going to be. It still feels like BMW, but it was kind of sluggish because it's a uh, less power, uh, less powered engine, 180 horsepower. But the manual should give us more control of the car and better driving experience. So that's what we're going to test out right now. Uh, another thing that this car has, as most new BMWs, is the automatic start-stop. And uh, it works differently with manual transmission, because uh, to get it to work, you need to put the car in neutral and take the foot off the clutch. And uh, that's what I'm going to try to do right now, see if it's going to work. So we're going to stop on the light, shift in neutral, foot off the clutch. And the engine turns off, the needle is on ready. And then all it takes to get the engine back to work is uh, to touch the, uh, to push the clutch in. And then the car, the engine will be working, and then you just put the gear. So, clutch in, engine on, ready to go. First grip gear is really easy. Uh, there's no effort. Um, I, I didn't have a lot of experience with this car, but it's really easy to start working. Second, and I'm, um, still getting used to so it's a little bit shaky I think you can rev it up a little bit higher before shifting and uh, what we're gonna do now we're gonna get on the highway go for a couple of exits and then try something else All right, so right now I'm just keeping the, the car in gear the engine keeps running and we're gonna try to go fast Still not that good with second and third. Well, that's better. So this fourth gear, I'm going 60, fifth, and I have one more gear. So it's again, manual makes it much better, much better experience driving. Um, like if you put me in this car and tell me it's a uh, 328, I may be would have believed it because it's there's plenty of power. Shifter's fine, so I'm in 6th gear, going 70. This is 80, I'm with about 28 RPM, 2800 RPM. Just to see what's going on, I'll put it up to 5th. RPMs go up to 3000. It's a little bit touchier, so what do you would expect? If you want more responsiveness, put it in 5th gear. So uh, both 5th uh, and 6th are uh, overdrive games. Uh, I'm going to take this exit. What I like to do here, uh, there's a tight turn. I'm going to take it a little bit faster than normal. Fourth gear. Uh, this car is not a sport package, so this is really base car, no premium package. It does have navigation, but it doesn't affect the drive. Alright. Second gear. Now let's take the turn. That's what's great about this car. It's a cheap BMW compared to others, but it's still a BMW. It drives great. All right, so one more thing we're going to do now. I'm going to turn around and go up a steep hill, see how it feels going up the hill. I guess I could shift earlier. I was shifting kind of late, but uh, uh, this is a pretty torquey engine, so you don't need to rev it up high, just normal driving. All right, a couple of cars in front of me, and I'm going to turn here, and there's going to be a nice steep hill. We'll see how it feels there. picks up fine and what I want to do now I'm gonna stop full stop first gear foot off the brake the car holds itself for at least two seconds so if you're gonna start on, this, on the steep hill then I'm gonna roll the roll the car back again on the stop sign same thing Just a second yeah the 
there's plenty of power, it's very easy to drive this car, uh, so it's all, all we wanted it to be. back on the highway and we'll do one more nice acceleration. I guess I can start, yeah, second gear going downhill is fine to start. Let's see if I can start rolling it here from second gear. I have slight decline. Yeah, get it going, second gear, just fine. So I guess uh, for rolling stops, you can use second gear, uh, just like normal uh, manual car. And we're gonna go, there's a nice ramp back going on the highway, it's an incline, so let's see how fast we can go, up to 60 miles an hour. First, second. It's kind of slow if you feel like this, but I kind of messed up the second gear. Then uh, uh, there's a bump, so that kicked in the traction control that slowed me down. So yeah, it's it's not fast, but it's it's still fun to drive, and it's definitely much more fun to drive than auto, than automatic. So that's it. We're gonna head back. So overall, again, 320i is the entry level 3 series. It starts at about $32,000. Automatic or manual is the same price. Uh, there are less options you can have as the 328 or 335. For example, there's no heads-up display. Uh, there are no luxury or sport line, but you still can get sport package, navigation, premium package. You can have it in all-wheel drive, which is also cool. So you can have a, a 320i manual all-wheel drive. That would be a nice, cool car to drive. That's about it. Thank you for watching.